Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a small amount of yellow on the two inch brush, just tap it. And we'll come over here to the sky, just paint in a nice little light spot. I think we'll have a little sunset today. So we'll just put a nice little yellow glow in the sky right, right here. Now with a little tiny little bit of red on the brush, we can paint in a nice little, kind of like cloud things, but just like little shapes, movements in the sky. Just like that. Now, I'll add a little bit of blue to that red. Tiniest amount of blue. It gives you kind of a purple color. And with that, we can keep on making some nice little cloud shapes. Maybe add a little bit more blue. There we go. Just drop them in. Now, with the one inch brush, we can go through just a little bit of white. And we'll come over here and just paint a light spot in the sky and let it work out. And then kind of blend it a little, like that. Now, while we have that brush going, we can add just the tiniest little touch of red. Not much, just a little. And we'll pop a little bit of highlight on some of these clouds. Just the tiniest little hint of light that's just hitting the cloud. Just like that. Let it work back, get darker as it comes to the outside of the paint. Maybe we'll add a little under here. There. Now with the clean brush, we can come in here and just blend out these clouds. Barely touching. Just want to move that paint a little bit. With those kind of stringy ones, we can just pull those. Lightly. Very lightly. Now with the fan brush and some red and yellow. Red and yellow. We can come over here and just shape a very distant background mountain. I'll add a little bit of blue and black to that, but not a lot. There. This is far away. We don't want to see much detail. We can drop in another little mountain over here. Once again, this is pretty far away. We don't need a lot of detail. Now, I'm going to add some more blue and black to that color. Blue and black, and I'll grab a little bit of brown. And a little bit more red. Now it's pretty dark. And we'll come over here and shape in another little mountain. I think this will be the closest, so we'll have this one the darkest. Now, with some red and green, we can mix up a nice brown color. Mix it real well. Now with that color and a two inch brush, we can come in here and just begin underpainting under some sand or some dirt. This is kind of a desert scene today, so it'll be sand. Now with the one inch brush and some white and some of that same brown color and some blue and black. So white, brown, blue, and black. And we can think about some nice little bushes back here. Tiny, tiny little bushes just at the horizon here. There, something like that. Add a little bit more black, a little bit more blue to that color. And we can throw in, a, in another bush right here. Just drop them in. Maybe darken that up even more. Yeah, that's better. Now when your bushes are all blocked in, you can take a clean fan brush and just pull the bottom of those bushes out. Kind of like we do snow. Now we can take some yellow and white. Kind of just mix them on the brush. And we can add just a, a touch of, of highlight or just different colored sand just here and there to break it up, so it's not all the same color. 
there, just like that. Now, when you're done with that, you can take a, a dirty brush, it doesn't matter. Grab some blue, blue and white. Blue and white, and some brown and black to dull it down a bit. That's too bright. There we go. Brown and black and blue. And we can drop the tiniest little bit of highlight on some of these bushes. Tiniest little bit. Add a little bit more white to that so it shows up a little better for you. There. Tiniest little bit of highlight. Now, when you're finished with that, you can take some brown and black on the fan brush, and maybe some red and yellow. And as you can see here, I've already thought about like a nice little road. So we'll just drop that in. Kind of left the space open for it. I think we'll have one. Kind of just wanders back. Now, when you're done with that, you can take a fan brush and some good dark color. And we'll come over here and just tap. Tap and work your way down. And we're, we're actually, we're gonna make like little Joshua trees or yucca trees or something like that. Just tap with the fan brush. Now with the script liner and some good dark paint, we can come in here and just add Tons of little spines, or, or I guess these are like leaves. We'll just add a whole bunch. This is going to take a little while. You just, it's, it's really thin paint. And just kind of drop them in. Now, when you're done with that, you can take a little bit of yellow, some of that green. And we can put on a little highlight to these trees. Now you'll have to thin your color down quite a lot because we're using the script liner and we're also going over paint, fairly thin paint to begin with. So you'll have to adjust it to make it stick. Now with the script liner and some brown, we can drop in a nice little tree. I think this will be like a dead tree up here. We'll have a lot of character to this little tree. Now, I think it would be a lot of fun if we had just a few birds up in the sky. So, I'll just put them in. No problem. They go in pretty easy. Maybe another one right there. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. I'm going to be making some more videos soon. And don't forget to check out my DVD for sale. I'll have the link listed below. Thanks for watching.